What's up guys, it's Miles here, and today I decided to do a commentary on my opinion on gold guns. Um, before I start though, I'd just like to say sorry for not making a video for like 10 days. This is partly because of um, Black Ops 2 coming out, and I've been playing it a lot. My delivery was quite late, so I couldn't really get much gameplay straight away, but... This is my first video of Black Ops 2, and I'm really enjoying the game at the moment. I'm pretty addicted to it to be honest, I'm second prestige uh, at the moment and it's only been out for like a week and a half but besides from that this is the topic for today I'm going to be talking about gold guns and just telling you guys how to get them so it's different for different like gun types so for the assault rifle and SMG you need to get first you need to get a hundred headshots because you get gold camo by getting all the other camos and to get these first set of camos, you need to get 100 headshots with the assault rifle of SMG. And then you unlock five different camos, which you need to unlock after. One of them is for getting 30 revenge kills, which I don't like that much. Because um, it's just sort of cheap, I think. Like, like you unlock the carbon fiber camo when you do that. Um, you can get two more camos, one of them being for getting 150 kills with no attachments, and the other for being 150 kills with no perks. These are, I quite like these challenges, because it means you have to use like the gun without any bonuses, but it's really annoying because you just, you have such a disadvantage against the enemies, which I just don't like at all. But, it's like, you get these really two cool camos, I can't remember which order they are, but you get Cherry Blossom and the Art of War. Both quite cool camos. I quite like the Art of War, and, but yeah, moving on. To get the Ronin camo, which is sort of like, it's like bright coloured camo, you need to get 20 double kills. Now, double kills are really easy on Black Ops 2. All you need to do is get literally two kills within about three to four seconds and you'd get that double kill now this isn't like the other cods because in the other cods you need to literally get two kills like to get your double kill it was literally impossible to do unless you got like a collateral or something but in this game it's so much easier it shouldn't take you long probably the first one you'll get and then finally you have to get skulls now this camera is just a bunch of like these blue and white skulls and what you have to do is, for it is get 10 bloodthirsty medals. Now, um, bloodthirsty medals, if you, in case you didn't know, you need to get 10 5 kill streaks UAV for, on for the skulls camo. Which doesn't take too long depending on what gun you use. If you're using an assault rifle, an SMG, t 5 kill streaks shouldn't be too bad for you. But if you're using like a shotgun, so I think shotguns have the same challenge as this. You it you might struggle, it might take you quite a while, but I reckon it's worth it for your gold. So once you get that, you should unlock your gold camo. And when you prestige, once you re unlock the gun, you'll keep that gold camo, which I really like. But I kind of don't really like it though. I like it and I don't like it because I like it how because it's you don't lose it when you prestige, but when like the CODs in like July, everyone will have a gold gun, you literally won't see a gun which isn't gold, people would get it and keep it through prestige. Can't which, confirm. Mm, it's sort of annoying, because it makes them too main, like, too, too common. But the gold camo does take about 9 hours roughly to get. So it's sort of a challenge, harder than one for free. Drop them. Not as hard as COD 4, because that was pretty hard to be honest. And it is Black Ops 2, no Black Ops 1 is probably pending really, probably a, a little bit easier because with Black Ops 1 you need to be 14th prestige so that was the downfall. But on this game they're sort of like a good challenge to get which I really quite like. And as you can see on this gameplay I'm using the gold MSMC and I've, the challenges of getting gold cameras will be different on different types of guns. For example, on snipers, I think you need like instead of headshots, you need like, one shot, one kills, which is mm, not really sure about. Same as with shotguns. But anyway, guys, that was a guide on how to get a gold SMG and assault rifle. Hope you enjoyed the commentary, and peace out.
but make sure you comment on what you think of the gold guns, I'd really like to know your guys' opinions, and I'll see you later.